Also breaking overnight, despite being closed as a precaution, state-owned liquor stores continue to be looted. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Howard Monroe is live in the Northeast, where one of those stores was ransacked overnight. Howard. Jan, yes, here we have a second night of looting, and at least three stores were looted overnight, including this fine wine and good spirits here, here on Adams Avenue. This is over near Holland Street. As we zoom in, you can see nearly all the shelves inside have been cleared from the looting that happened here overnight. You can see the inside of the store here has been ransacked. This happened last night. This is all despite the state closing all of Philly's state owned liquor stores yesterday. Now, to try to control the looting, there was an increased police presence in Center City last night. Police they believe that these groups they are using social media to organize the gatherings and even live streaming the looting. From Tuesday night, police say 52 people were arrested after the looting incidents. They say of them, 31 have formerly been charged by the district attorney's office. They range in ages from 14 to 37 years old. Most of the charges are for burglary and theft. Six people have been charged with inciting a riot. We spoke with Ricky Duncan. He's the CEO of the NOMO Foundation. They provide work training and also a safe place for young people. He says they anticipated there could be some reactions by young people in the city following charges being dropped against former police officer Mark Dial and the shooting death of Eddie Irizarry. But he says they were proactive in speaking with them as well as their families. It was extremely disheartening. Like, it is a prevention that we put in place at NOMO that we decided to bring the kids in and have a conversation with them. And, you know, we talked it out where we were able to let the kids know not to go down there, not to participate, you know, because a lot of times children find it to be temptation. And we know this is the world of opportunity, and a lot of people use it as opportunities to be able to get some of the things that they normally wouldn't be able to assess. Our VP of Family and Community Engagement actually had a sit down conversation with them, sent them home early as, as prevention so they won't be tempted by the stuff that's taking place downtown. We called the parents, let them know we were sending them home, and then we also called the parents to make sure that they got home safely. Now, back here up to Adams Avenue, as you can see, the store is ransacked. The state has not said when they plan on reopening any of the state owned stores. Of course, that also includes the stores that have been ransacked, but also the stores that have not been looted from overnight. Now, also, there is still a lot of glass happening uh, all throughout the parking lot here. It has not yet been cleaned up. Now, as for, as for these stores, again, it's not clear when they're going to reopen. Also, of all of those who were charged, all of three people were charged as adults and they were juveniles. But for now, live in the Northeast, Howard Monroe, CBS News, Philadelphia. Send it back to you in the studio. Thank you, Howard.